Hi everybody, it's Miss Parker from Math and Science. I miss everybody, good morning, and happy St. Patrick's Day. So today we're going to do a small circle time like we would normally do at school. So today we need to figure out what today's day is. So if yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. If yesterday was Monday, today is Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Good job, guys. So today is Tuesday, March 17th, 2020. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Good job, guys. Take a bow. Take a bow. Take a bow. So today we are going to be introduced to a new number. Last week, we finished off with the number 13 in our math journal. So can anybody guess what our new number is for this week? It is the number that comes after 13. Good job, guys. It's the number 14. The number 14 is an easy number to write. It is just a 1. I'm sorry because we're upside down. Just a 1 and a 4. A 1 and a 4 makes the number 14. A 1 and a 4. So today, what I want you guys to do is start to practice writing the number 14. Remember, guys, I don't expect anybody to do it perfectly because we are just meeting this number for the first time. All Ms. Parker wants is for you guys to try your best. You can write it on a chalkboard. You can write it on a whiteboard. You can write it on paper. You can do it in pom-poms. Um, I'm open to any ways that you want to write the number 14. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, I just definitely want us to start getting acquainted with the number 14. So for your homework today, I want you to start practicing the number 14. And I want you to also start counting out 14 objects. So Ms. Parker used jelly beans. I counted out 14 jelly beans. Um, you guys can use anything at home that you want to use. You could use jelly beans. You can use pennies. You can use whatever the kids can find, which I'm sure will not be hard to do today, um, to come up with the number 14. Once you do that, if you would like to upload your pictures of your writing or your counting, that will be great. Miss Parker will come on later to check. And if not, that is completely fine too, guys. So just make sure that you are practicing the number 14. We're getting closer to graduation, so we've been really working hard on trying to master identifying and writing our numbers 1 through 20, which we've been doing a great job with. Also remember, before you write your number 14, we always start out with writing our date on the top of the paper. So today's date would be 3-17-20. The kids have been doing an awesome job with writing the date on everything, and they've been really, really excited about learning that new skill. So please, guys, make sure that you are writing the date on the top of your paper before you start practicing your number 14. So before I go today, we're going to practice counting by fives, and we're going to practice counting by tens, which we've been doing such an awesome job with at school. So I'm sure the kids will be really, really excited to show their families at home how great that they're doing. So we will start with counting by fives because that is our least favorite to count by. So I want everybody counting with Miss Parker. I don't want to count all by myself. So please count with me. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good job, guys. Now we're going to count by our favorite, which is 10. So let's all count together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 
Good job, guys. I'm super proud of how far we've come with counting by our fives and tens. We've been working really, really hard at school, getting prepared for graduation and for kindergarten. So I'm excited for parents to see at home all the hard work we've been doing here at school. So remember, again, tonight your homework is to practice writing the number 14 and to practice counting 14 objects. Guys, you can be creative. You can do it however you want as long as you're practicing being introduced to the number 14. So that is our number for our math journal for the next two weeks. So the activities we'll be doing all over the next two weeks at home will be consistent with working on the number 14. Um, I miss everybody so much. I hope everybody is having a great time at home with their families. And I hope to see everybody really, really, really soon. Bye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day and happy St. Patrick's Day.